in this lecture let's go ahead and let's create a type for our counter state so let's go to vs code here we are creating a state and for this state in the app module we are calling it as counter so this counter is going to store this state object now for this state object what i am going to do is i am going to create a type and for that i am going to use an interface so here i am going to create an interface and here i'm going to call it as counter state you can name it anything and inside this counter state interface i'm going to specify what properties do i want inside this counter state so first of all i need a counter property which should be storing a value of type number and if i want to have any other property so for example let's say if i also want to have is loading let's say it is going to store a boolean value then i can also specify that and in the same way we can specify multiple properties inside this counter state interface now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the type of this state as counter state so here we are assigning this state to a variable i'm going to set the type of that variable as counter state and now you will see that here we have an error and this error is because in this counter state we are specifying that whichever variable will have this type it should have a counter property and is loading property but in this initial state object we only have the counter property which is storing a numeric value and that's why we have the error because here we are not specifying this is loading property inside this object now one thing which i can do is i can make this property as optional in that case that error will be gone so the non optional properties we need to specify inside this object for which we have set the type as counter state but for optional properties if we want we can omit them but here i'm going to make it as non optional and in that case we will have to specify is loading property also and a boolean value for that okay so here we will initialize it with the value false so this is how we can create a type for our state for that we are using an interface now here i don't want to have this is loading property so i'll remove it and you will see as soon as i remove that is loading here we have an error because since the type of this object is counter state and in the counter state we have only one property called counter so that's why here we can see this error and if i hover over this error it will say that object literal may only specify known properties and is loading does not exist in the type counter state so since is loading does not exist in this counter state type and inside this object we can have only those properties which is specified inside this counter state interface that's why we have this error so i'll also remove this property from here okay now what i want is if you remember so here you can see that here we are injecting an instance of this store and there we have specified a type and in that type we have the counter state and for that counter state we are specifying the type as an object where we have a counter property of type number now what we can do is since we have created same type of interface i can specify the type for this counter state as that interface and for that we will have to export it from here okay and now i can go inside this counter value component.ts file and here i can specify the type as counter state and to use this counter state we also need to import it let's save the changes and we are also using it i mean we are also importing this store object in the counter button component so let's go to counter button component.ts file there also we are injecting an instance of this store object so here also i can set the type as counter state okay now if i save the changes and if we go to our application it should be working as expected so everything is working but this time we have created a type for the state for this counter state so now wherever we need to specify the type for the counter state we can use this interface also whenever we are going to add new properties in this state 
first we will have to add that property inside this interface and there we will also have to specify the type of data which that state is going to store and we will see that in our coming lectures but this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day